Hi, old guy in shed here. Bright sunny day. Uh, my last episode was about the uh, my big guzzy, the Norge, or as I was picked up, uh, the correct pronunciation should be Norga. Having said that, I'm not going to argue. Um, but we don't say Paris, we say Paris. We don't say uh, Jesus, we say Jesus. So it's all down to description, really. And I'm certainly not going to worry my head over it. Shall we just call it the big white guzzy? Um, so I'm going to show you around it. And I did the, the ride, and it was good, and I enjoyed it. And uh, it's always nice to ride it. Uh, but I would, um, I, I, when I've done it and I'd look back on it, I didn't feel I'd talked about the bike itself. So I'm going to do sort of a walk around chat, some of the things I like about it, some of the things I perhaps don't like so much. And uh, we'll um, continue um, on that vein, I think. So I'll take this around um, and so I can show you what I feel the bike has given me over the time that I've owned it. Um, and I'm trying desperately now to think of some things I don't like. Um, well, I'll, I'm sure I'll find something. Let's crack on and have a look, eh? That'd be a good idea. So, here she is, the big white guzzy. Um, I like it as a bike, I think it's stylish. I have been asked about the, um, the fairing and how good the uh, protection is. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I've got very little to compare it with, um, particularly the um, in the GT sort of bikes, because this is the only one I've really owned. I've had Beamers, which were more sporty, it's as much as a Beamer can be sporty. Um, one of the things I do like, uh, which I did mention, didn't really go on about too much, the, the, the rising screen look. Look at that, isn't that just nice? I'll bring it back down again. That is so useful as a feature. I, um, I think it is so good that I use it all the time. Um, the, the clocks are so very, very clear um, and easy to read, uh, with the exception of the actual clock. You never know what time it is. That doesn't worry me too much because I have added my sat nav here, uh, which is good. Uh, I enjoy that. I've also added a USB um, port here, and they're all switchable uh, for charging my phone. I used to put it under, there is a, an outlet underneath the seat, like a cigarette type outlet, um, but I find it so bloody new, so much of a bloody nuisance, it was just untrue. Um, the general styling of it, I think, is a little bit Italian, isn't it? You can't fault it for that, although it does follow the suit of an awful lot of the genre of today. I personally like the way the, um, they brought the fairing in here for the uh, indicators. I do like that sort of touch. Uh, let me just turn the ignition off. The boxes are immense. My wife and I have been on two week vacations on this thing uh, across Italy. Uh, we, and like I said in, in the other video, if you get a chance to do the um, the factory thing at Guzzi, you will not be disappointed. It's fabulous, and the Italians make you feel so welcome. What I have done is for the panniers, I bought the bags, the Guzzi bags, to go inside them. Uh, I used to just take the bags off and carry them into hotels, into uh, motels and what have you also real pain in the ass um, since we've got the soft bags absolutely fabulous we have a pannier each and then in the the massive top box um, we put our toiletry bag and our shoes uh, which we only take a couple of pair of and I've got these very sort of soft flat shoes that I put in there and it's just great for Italy um, Anybody thinking that this sort of a bike is dated, it is. The the um, the, the whole um, 
what do you call it, uh, marketplace, oops, sorry about that, the whole marketplace has in fact changed um, to the point where this type of bike has now gone completely out of fashion um, and the manufacturers are basically, um, they feel it's not a, a sector that's that big anymore and the numbers do prove that in the registrations um, and because he have discontinued this bike because of it and that's absolutely fair play I mean let's face it you've got to work with the market um, and the, one of the bigger market areas has been the custom style bike which Guzzi have got into with their their big baggers as the Americans call them uh, and the, their 1400cc and they are colossal machines uh, the other market is the bobber style in fact Guzzi have called theirs the, the bobber inspired naming but there you go I think if you can pick one of these things up or it's um, stable mate the Breva which is the identical frame it's the identical bike uh, but without the fairing uh, and you can buy, get Brevas with the uh, boxes I had one before this with a large screen did a tilly on it just the same and they are fantastic the Breva comes with the um, the four valve engine not the eight valve like this one the early ones of these came with the four valve engine, which is the 1100. I don't think there's a great deal of difference in the performance. I do think the um, 1100 four valve is a quieter engine when you come to traffic lights and things. And I have mentioned this before. This is a bit of a clattery engine. Uh, but other than that, they are great bikes for long-leggedness. If you want a bike and you want to go across large continents, mile after mile on the highways, you, you can't go far wrong with this. Um, the, the, the styling is of its time. You can see that, you know, the, the handlebars are what they are. Um, the mirrors work really well. They're just a really top-end touring bike. Uh, things I don't like, I was going to mention, they are heavy to get on the main stand, uh, for, for me, on my own, uh, at my age. <laughs> it's far easier when I've got got uh, somebody with me to help me hold it up. Um, that, that just makes life a little bit easier. Um, but they are, they're not easy to get onto the main stands. Other criticism, again, of the main stand, if you don't lubricate the joint, they will come away. Happened to me twice, happened on the Breva, and it's happened on this. The actual bolt comes adrift, and you lose it. And it really is a pain in the ass. Never happens on a, <laughs> at a convenient time. <laughs> Things like that never do. But um, that's its biggest criticism. The handlebar, heated handlebars work really well. Um, the switch gear is pretty good. Um, <laughs> with the exception of the up and down button of the um for the uh the screens and they are there that's that little button there with the down arrow that brings it down and it's oppo is tucked underneath on the uh tuck uh don't know whether you can see it there is it there yes sorry i'm fiddling about with this a little bit there we go uh but other than that very little wrong with this bike there's a little bit of space under the seat or bits and pieces in the tail there I've got my puncture repair outfit there my visor cleaning uh, stuff you know cloth and what have you but hey what a bike what a bike for long distances um, I hope this has been a little bit more informative um, like I have said in the past I have mentioned in the past that the brakes are absolutely epic um, handles beautifully handles a little bit too well for my wife's taste I do get to uh, hit down the um, stands every now and then and the pegs and uh, she uh, takes umbrage for some weird reason anyway there we go that's my Norge or Norga or big white fuck off guzzy call it what you like I like it as a bike 
um, press the subscribe and the like and what have you and um, I'll bring you more uh, updates on other bikes that I've got or be getting or other folks' bikes and uh, we'll see how we get on with it um, and I shall talk to you all again soon take care of yourselves enjoy